take a look at number five. Okay, on number five, it says that we have in this figure above, OX is the center. We have OX, it's going to be the radius of the circle. So we have O, X, when O is in the center. It is asking us to find which triangle has the smallest area. Okay, which triangle has the smallest area. And we have these segments and points listed A, B, C, D, and E. So whenever you look at the triangles, you have to look at each individual triangle. So for instance, this would be triangle EOX. And then you go from there. If we draw the segment here, this would be triangle DOX. We have COX, BOX, as well as AOX. So it wants us to find the triangle that has the smallest area. Again, always go back to your formula of 1 half base times height. So if we're dealing with 1 half base times height, since OX is the radius of the circle, it looks like all the triangles have that segment in common. That common segment is going to be the base. So OX is actually equal to the base, which means since all of them are going to be the same, we don't care about that when it comes to the formula. Now, also in the formula, we have a 1 half. The 1 half is going to be constant for every triangle we deal with, so this can be eliminated as well. So what we're really looking at overall is just the heights of the triangle. So first off, looking at the heights, let's go ahead and eliminate the ones we know that cannot be right. Again, we're looking for the least area, all right? So the ones we know that can't be right, B, C, and D, okay? So we eliminate B, C, and D. Now we need to figure out what's it going to be between A and E. Well, looking at this, we're going to have A, it's going to be like this, draw the height, and then E is going to be way up here. Well, if I draw a line straight across, looking at it, it looks definitely like AOX is going to have a smaller area than EOX. So the correct answer for number five is going to be A AOX.